Hi everyone, hope you're all well. In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace a screen on a ThinkPad P15S Gen 2 laptop. So let's get into it. So first things first, when you are replacing a screen, so this screen, obviously is cracked as you can see there. First things, you should always do replacing the screen, although it's tempting not to, but you should always disconnect your battery, right? So there is actually uh, some quite important voltages which run uh, up to the LCD screen. So to do this, you need to remove the bottom cover of the laptop. Now there's a number of screws. You need to undo all of these screws. Just going around, I'm doing this, these screws on this laptop, um, they don't come all the way out, right? So they're just held in there, so you don't lose the screws, but just loosen the screws off. And then what we need to do is just pop this bottom cover off. So easiest way I find to do that is it's already started to come off here, which is good, right? Let's get a little pry tool and just run it along in between the actual uh, keyboard bezel and the bottom cover, right? So you get your pry tool and just run it along there like so, and then eventually start popping off the bottom cover as you go along. Now, when you get to a certain point, it'll be a lot easier. The initial popping off of the bottom cover is always the most difficult bit. Be careful of the ports on the side as well, because you know they're obviously a lot more fragile. So pop along the side as well, being careful where you put your pry tool and you'll see it eventually start coming off like so. What I find easy as well is if you run the pry tool along the back by the hinges of the laptop, start popping the back off like so and you see how easy that side to come off. There is um, usually, this laptop hasn't got it, but usually a little SIM card holder there. Make sure you pop that SIM card holder out because uh, that will, um, like hold the case, the bottom case onto the laptop. So just carry it along all the way around with your pry tool, making sure all of your screws are loose enough. Make sure that one's loose. And then when you get to a certain point, as I say, you will be able to actually just pull off the bottom case altogether, right? So I'm at a certain point now where you can see the bottom case is very loose. I'm just gonna run the pry tool along here because this bit is a little bit fragile like so, just to make it a little bit easier. All the way along, like so. Okay, and then you can see it starts coming off. Okay, and once you get to this point, you can literally just pull off the bottom cover, and then we need to disconnect the battery to be on the safe side. So battery connector is just here. As you can see, battery's there, runs along, and that's where it connects into the motherboard. So easiest way to disconnect the battery is just carefully grab hold of the cable and then just pull it away from the silver connector like so, and the battery is disconnected. Now we are safe to work on removing the actual screen. Right, so again, this is obviously a lot easier once you, uh, if your screen's broken, right? Because the screen's broken, so it doesn't matter if I scratch the screen or do whatever, because the screen's broken, right? If obviously you're replacing the screen uh, and the screen's not broken, you know, maybe you're replacing the LCD cable, then you obviously do need to be a little bit careful, but you can actually run your pry tool along the top here and to remove this bezel off the screen. Once you get going, this does come off pretty easy, right? Again, be careful of these side pieces because they're thinner. So what I like to do is just kind of put my finger underneath and just pop it off very gently, right? Again, this is obviously where the webcam is, so be careful around this area as well. This video is sponsored by Console Therapy. Console Therapy provide repairs for all well-known games consoles, including PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Console Therapy will also buy your 40 games consoles from you. 
Have you got a 40 PlayStation or 40 Xbox that you wish to sell? Console Therapy will offer you the most competitive rate in the UK for your 40 device, and they'll also collect it from your home address and make payment within 24 hours. Do you need a spare part for your games console? At the Console Therapy online shop, you will find a wide range of spare parts for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series and Xbox One models. Simply visit consoletherapy.com to find out more. And then all the way along and then run my finger just underneath it, just giving it a bit of support for the side pieces. And then when you get to this bottom piece, the thickest, thickest piece, again, just being careful not to break the actual bezel itself. We're just going to pull off, run our fingers behind it. What you find is there's obviously sticky labels all the way along this, right? So you kind of have to get your fingers in between the bezel and the sticky labels. And then we're just going to put it off like so. It will pop off. It's little plastic clips. And then eventually you get to a point where it simply just pops off. Now pop that bezel to one side and then on 99% of laptops what you'll find is the actual screen is stuck down usually by plastic uh, double-sided tape strips which run behind the LCD panel which obviously hold it to the lid of the screen. Um, now to get these off what you do <clears throat> is you'll actually see the actual plastic strips popping out here. So during manufacture, they make the strips long enough just to overhang the bottom of the LCD screen on either side. And you can grab them. And I've just noticed this one actually hasn't got to them. Uh, so obviously this screen has been replaced previously. Usually there's a little tab down here so you can grab, get a, grab a pair of tweezers, grab the end of the little tab here from the actual little plastic self-adhesive uh, strip. Uh, and then pull it out this way, right? And then keep pulling out the strip and then eventually you'll pull out the whole strip. Um, and there's not one this side either. So this screen's definitely been replaced at some point. So again, get the actual strip with the tweezers, uh, grab hold of the little tab that will be sticking out the end here. It might be just along here, it'll be here somewhere located at the bottom. Grab it, sometimes it's located at the top as well, by the way, the little tab, right? So it might be at the top of them. Look for a little, uh, it's like a little very thin foam type plastic self-adhesive strip. So grab that and then pull it off like so. Pull it this direction, right? Don't pull it up, but pull it this direction. And then what you'll find is the screen is then very loose. Yeah, see this screen's been replaced previously. Uh, so the screen is loose and then the screen comes away like so. Now, my advice is get the laptop and then actually open up the screen all the way because what you need to do is get to this connector just here. So as you can see that connector just there and then grab yourself a pair of tweezers. Normally there's a bit of tape over it so just pull that tape back and then there'll be a little metal bar as you can see here. You pop up that metal bar like so. You just show you that quickly so you can see there's a metal bar there on my thumb and then once you lifted that up you can pull the cable away like so now it's free then to remove the LCD panel now replacement of your new screen is simply reversal now what I like to do is obviously uh, add some new self-adhesive strips I use these 3M ones, right? So you just get a, a, a roll of this tape. Um, and then I add it to the actual uh, lid of the LCD panel my, uh, the, uh, itself. So you can see this is where the strips would have been previously. You can see that there. That we would have pulled off if they'd been there. So I just get my tape. Run it along all the way down like so, leaving a little bit extra for the next person that comes along if they need to replace the screen. And then let's just cut it there, like so. And then 
the same on the other side. And then we remove, because it's just double sided, so we remove the um, protecting the cover of the adhesive tape. Right, like so. So we pull that away. That obviously leaves the double sided tape there. And then we just pull off the tape. And then we come in with our brand new replacement screen. Okay. Let's place the laptop the right way up. Place the screen on the keyboard, All right? Push the lid back a little bit. And then that gives us easy access to connect the cable to the actual screen. So we grab the cable, pull back the little metal bar and then just slide the connector, uh, the cable into the connector, I should say, like so. Now push down on the metal bar, the locking bar, so that locks out the connector, and then just put your tape back over again. All right, so as we know, we've already got our tape here in place to hold the screen. So then just grab the screen, rotate it round, it's usually easier to locate it to this top piece first of all. Just making sure it pops into the right position. Like so. And then we come back in with our bezel and just literally just pop our bezel back in again. Um, there is some adhesive around here. I usually find this adhesive is, uh, you know, if you've just, just literally just removed it, then it's usually quite good just to push it, put it back on again. It's usually still strong enough. This feels it. What you can do is actually get some double sided tape and just run it along if you so wish. Um, I think for the bottom part, we'll actually do that. Uh, for these side bits, the actual adhesive is quite good there already. So, what I'll quickly do is let's just move our laptop out of the way and then just coming in with this thinner um, double sided tape, right? This is kind of all the stuff that you see on eBay, right? But it's uh, very readily available. I'm just going to put a new strip of it along here just to make sure the bottom of the bezel sticks down nicely because some of this glue that's originally on there doesn't feel as tacky as it should. Come along. Just cut it off there. And then again, obviously remove the other side of the tape. So, come back in with our laptop. Easiest way to get the bezel back on, right, is go this way. Oh, first things first. One thing I forgot to mention is obviously any new screen comes with a protective film over it. So make sure you remove that protective film now, right? So you won't be able to do it once the bezel's on. So let's just pull off that protective film, then come back in with the bezel. What I find easiest is putting this bottom section in first, in between the hinges, so we just wiggle that in, like so, and then the bezel will kind of drop into the correct position. Once your bottom piece is in, it's nice and firm, you start at the top, and then just make sure it's all aligned. All right, so starting at the top here, you'll feel it click into the right position. So, like, Right, see it feel it clicking, clicks in all the way along. Some places you might have to give it a bit of a wiggle. Okay, so that's all in on the top. Then go down your sides. And then finally, pop in the bottom piece. And there you go. Just have a quick check round, make sure the bezel's all nice and flush to the screen, which it is. Simple and easy way to replace your LCD screen on your ThinkPad P15S. Simple as that. Final thing we need to do is just reconnect the battery. So that's just literally 
popping in the connector into the socket like so and then replacing our bottom cover obviously only goes in one way hinge uh, gap there for the hinges pop it on literally just put it in place and then just push it down and then it will pop in you'll feel it pop into place like so and then literally just tighten up all of the screws so there you go real quick video just to show you how to replace the lcd screen on this uh, thinkpad uh, p15s gen 2 laptop really quite straightforward thing to do hope you enjoyed the video if you did please consider giving us a thumbs up it's really much appreciated thanks very much for watching take care of yourselves speak to you soon bye bye